welcome. No, that is not a booger on my face. It is a cold sore. Let's just clear that up at the beginning of the vlog. Oh, that's true. It's a booger. Everyone's like, you have a booger, mom. Very painful cold sore. I wouldn't even have noticed if you didn't point it out. No, the whole time everyone would have been like, there's a booger on her face. Anyway, missing the bus all over the place. It's just one of those days. Miss the bus. Missing the bus. Missing the bus. Not even Not yet. yet. Not yet, Daisy. We have hope in one being able to get there. You know what though? You might as well just get a ride with Zay to go to school because you're basically in the same what? spot. Well, I got to the bus stop at 703, but I think it came at 701 or two. Because... Why didn't you say, hey? Did you see the bus? Yeah. You like left you. Man. Oh man. Do you want me to call my friends that have teenagers and see if they'll give you a ride? Uh, super, Evie, come on. Why are you in my bed, huh? Stay out of my bed at night. Huh? Why are you in my bed? Why'd you come in my bed? Huh? Turkey. <laughs> and there were two. Okay, we got all the kids off to school. Frankie, I don't want any trouble from you, all right? Just take it easy. Oh, who do we have here? All ready to go. Hi, Noodle. You ready to start walking? Let's hit it by a year, okay? That's the goal, by your year mark. I want you walking full, full, time. full speed ahead, full time, yeah? Well, we still got 30 days. Okay, this has been Noodle's thing lately. Driving this car around. Pushing something, scooting, but he really likes the things with wheels. <sighs> you driving your car around? <laughs> so cute. Hi, Noodle. Uh, huh. Beautiful. Oh, you got your lipstick on? Oh, where is that? Like, okay. Um, you look really good. Let me see your teeth. Okay, it looks like you got a little on your teeth, but that's okay. We'll do better next time. Okay, guys, it's a very exciting day. Not really, but Zade's getting a physical for his swim. All high school athletes have to do it every year. And um, yeah, so we're filling out the form. We'll take Zade in. April's been out gallivanting around all day. What you been doing all day? I picked up something, oh my gosh, you guys, let me just tell you right now. Brigitte from Sexy Modest Boutique, Modest Shopping on Instagram, she is the sweetest person. She has a heart of gold, she's so genuine. Um, I told her, I was like asking her, I had a friend that had her knees pass away suddenly, really sad, unexpectedly, 10 year old girl. and. They obviously they're having the funeral really quick and my friend was asking about a dress. She was like, do you think I could go and pick it up at the warehouse? And I was telling Bridget about the situation and she was like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. And she gave my friend the dress, you guys. How sweet is that? That's so I was nice. like, are you serious? She's like, you can, don't worry about it. Tell her just to have it. I we feel love so those bad guys. For I'm like, are you serious? That is just, like she didn't have to do that. My friend's totally willing to pay for it. I was even willing to pay for it for my friend. like. I was like, I'm gonna do something nice for my friend. And then she was just like, I got you. She is so sweet. So if you're gonna support a company, that's a good one to support. They're great people. Um, Sexymodest.com, and guess what? I have a discount code there, and they don't do sales. So the only way to get a discount on there is if they're offering like a special little perk from an email that they do very rarely, or if you have an affiliate code, which I do. And it's April 10th. So there you go. Boom. But buy some cute clothes for Vol because I love them. That's awesome. Frank, welcome back. You need to oh, wipe her. needs me to wipe her. It's my favorite stages of dad. Yes. Dad, wipe me! Speaking of them, I this is something I pay for every month, you guys, because I just think it's really fun. It's like my birthday every month. It's called uh, Brigitte Brianna's Favorite Things Box. And you never know what's gonna be in here. Oh look, she did one of her, um, like a productivity page that she does for free. And it's laminated, so it's like a reusable one. That's so cute. 
and a little dry erase marker that comes with it. How fun is that? Ooh, I like gold jewelry. You guys, I think these are like 30 bucks a month, but the stuff that you get in it is way worth way more than that. And every single time you get a box, it comes with a $10 gift card to their website too. So it is like the, the best. What is this? Oh, I think it's one of her layering necklaces. Yes. That's so cute. And then I know she loves these. I love these too. Ooh, this is fun. It's a super soft headband. Spa solutions, like when you put your hair up at night. When you wash your face. Oh, she did the mugs. The Perk Chill, which is like a yummy, it's like a protein hot chocolate, like an adult hot chocolate but it tastes like caramel apple pie. Yeah. And then she does the, ooh, it has a bath bomb. And this mug that has um, Theodore Roosevelt quote, and a beautiful girl, you can do hard things, leverage. How fun is that? Seriously, and then moisture foot mask. And every single time it comes with this little letter that explains everything, and it's so fun to read because I'm pretty sure they write this up together because Jason's got to have a hand in this because it's funny. He's like super funny. And there you go. I think she also does like a one-time mask sometimes or a one-time box sometimes. Um, she offers those every once in a while if you don't want to do the whole subscription. But I think the subscription's super fun. Okay. No. No, 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 no. He didn't want my help anymore. <laughs> I don't know why. Zaid is on a, on a 99th percentile of his height. No, on that. But we also saw his chart is actually a girl's chart, so they might be comparing him to girls. Daddy, she's opening so, the, so, they might so there's them. that. Hi, Noodle. Hi. You missing Dad? He's like leaning forward and looking at me while I'm talking. Hi. <laughs> Are you happy to see me? Mm. Hi, Daze. No Hi. tennis today? No, it's tomorrow. Okay, get your uh, rackets out. Let's go hit the ball back and forth. Someone on Instagram got all mad that we did a brand deal with Nick, the underwear for periods. They were just like so mad about it. They were like, how dare you broadcast your daughter's period across the internet? I was like, A, she has not started her period and I didn't say anything about her starting. I'm just saying like, let's be honest guys. Guess what? If you are a woman, it's, it's part of life. And yeah. Daisy, are you embarrassed about talking about it at all? No. Look. And it was educational. Hello. They were like, oh, exploiting your kids to make money. I'm like, Daisy got paid for that, Brandel. Did you not? I got paid. So I'm pretty sure you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, boom. Are you mad about it, Daisy? That's funny. People are funny. I mean, you know what? Actually, it makes me sad because it makes me realize like... So it just kind of makes me sad because it just means that like they're embarrassed about talking about it. So because they're embarrassed about talking about it, it's an embarrassing situation. But like if, if you're not embarrassed about talking about it, it's not an embarrassing situation. This is something I've talked about, guys. Like just because you have standards for something hey, doesn't mean you need to... Hi. Enforce your standards on the rest of the world. Just keep it to yourself. I'm glad whatever your way of doing things in, if somebody asks you, share. But if they don't, I don't need to hear it, guys. Right, Noodle? Eh, he's so cute. You guys, I think there might be ghosts in our house. The sink is turning on and off by itself, look. It's a motion sensor sink. Like no one, no one did anything. Hold still, guys. Daddy, you are showing something. Ghost. Oh, see? Ghost, if you're in the house, turn the water on right now. Okay, that was creepy. Ghost, if you're in the house. Ah! What is happening? Zane, are you doing that? I feel like you look guilty. Did you like? Okay, what is that? That's our fly swatter. 
Oh! No way. Don't have to hold it that close. Hold it right there. Hold it down. Not working. Because you don't have the magic touch. How are you doing that? I mean, you need to put the up there. Right, right, right. Right, let me try. Oh my gosh, how did you figure that out? You just slotted your fork and then it turned on. I I do not understand how that's happening, but for some reason, the electrical waves from this are passing through this and triggering the sensory that that, that connects to the motor. Oh, I have to try. Dad's got him. He's probably changing his bum or something. That is crazy. Also, we had three giant. Well, we had one giant and two small zucchinis in the garden, and I was like, what can I even do with these to make the kids eat them? So I looked up on the internet a zucchini creamy zucchini soup recipe. I've never tried it before, but here we go. We're gonna give it a go. It's basically just mm. onions, garlic. Mom, well, we should make potato soup, because that's way better. We don't have potatoes. Um, it's onion, garlic, chicken broth, and zucchini, and I'm just boiling it. And as soon as it's done boiling, I'm gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes, and you then- make paper? I think you have to do an immersion blender and blend it up, and then add sour cream, salt, and pepper. I don't know how this could not be delicious, because Zucchini doesn't really have a distinct taste. It kind of just doesn't taste like anything. It's gross. And Amber doesn't like the texture, but the taste, there's really not a taste. Like when you eat it, you taste salt and pepper. And you like salt and pepper. Okay, well, it's, zucchini is not yucky, but she doesn't like the texture. It's like the slimy texture that I think she doesn't like. So this might be great, because it'll be creamy soup. What? I know how to make paper. How? And you can make it with fruit too. You could. You just have to mush um anything you like up, except for um things that you like. So they mush up what to make like paper? Wood. Oh, <gasps> really? How do they paper. mush up wood? They just, Sawdust. Yeah, they just um mush it up a tiny uh, and they boil it till it gets and then it turns into the soupy stuff called pulp and then you have to let it dry for a few days and then it's done. Wait, coal? Pulp. pulp. So they get wood pulp, flatten it, and let it dry. And That's incredible. Who taught you that? Um, at Steam today, um, I watched a video how to make paper. Cool, dude. Okay, there's the soup. Moment of truth. It's so good. Is it actually Do you want to try it? You don't like zucchini, but you like zucchini soup, correct? Yes. Ah! And it has a bunch more them? things in it than just plain zucchini. Mm, it's and five it ingredients. <clears throat> Onion, garlic, zucchini, sour cream, and broth. What did you say, Daisy? This is so good it could be in a restaurant. It really is, and I added a squeeze of fresh lime. It is so good. And if she says it's so good, guys, That's it's okay. the bomb diggity dog. I like almost nothing. Mm -hmm. Did I get that right? That's a booger. I like it was on purpose. Intentional. Intentional booger. That was a conscious decision. No it Oh that was a conscious decision. He says, that was a conscious lifestyle choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Here's the recipe for those of you that are like, oh, I don't know where the recipe is. I already have it memorized. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you for a big family size, so you'll half this if you wanna make a smaller batch. This fed everyone, we're gonna have some leftovers, so. Three large zucchinis or six smaller medium ones. Then you just chop them in big chunks. One large white onion, four cloves of garlic, chop those up, and then eight cups of chicken broth. Wait, do you boil it all? Do you chop up the onions or mince them? Just chop them big, because you're gonna like blend it up with an immersion blender. So you boil all of those for, you boil it and then let it simmer for like 20 minutes, and then you just blend it up with an immersion blender. And then you pour in the sour cream, and salt, and pepper. It is so easy. So good. And then I made homemade sourdough bread to go with it and then just squeeze lime over the top is what we did So stinking good. I'm surprised 
That's from someone that says, I hate zucchini. Also, I've never seen a recipe that only had five star reviews. That would be, like, I think everyone's so impressed that you can turn zucchini into something this good that it's just like every single person. There was like 150 and they were all five star reviews. Well look, now it won't shut off. So we have permanent water on in our house. That's no good. It's the thing in here that controls. You know what? We could actually maybe say it's manufacturer defect. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. I'm supposed to be able to zap it with your fly swatter and it breaks. Oh, it's because it's not pushing it down all the way. No, Evie, that's, it's down all the way. All right, time to go to Home Depot. Can I come? Dad has to go by himself. Uh, oh, wait, you turned it off. Well, why is it well, turning all the way? Okay. No more using the fly swatter to turn the water back on and off. What, Evie? I fixed it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's going to be the reason why he's in the 95, 99 percentile for... Let me see, babe. It says 62 percentile. Okay, remember that one time we went and helped my mom with her electricity and brought my... Generators up there, well, our power's they're out. still there and now our power's out. So and guys, don't, don't open the fridges, okay? We might have to go to West Valley and get don't our goal fridges. zeros. I actually bought a new generator, but it's not coming till tomorrow morning. So, well, yeah, there's zeros, that. What's that? For the goal zero, so we didn't that. use them much. They'll have, they'll have some power. Oh, yeah. Where are you? Oh, looks like fun. What fair? Brad's and Sister's Day. Oh, Brad. You're not going to believe it. Our power's out now. Oh, Davey, we have your machines at our yeah. house. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, guys. Power's still out. My dad's going to get... Uh, my... Uh, his brother and my uncle's generator and yeah it's really dark in here okay well that was absolute chaos 100 percent chaos since april left kids crying kids screaming kids fighting me trying to get the generator working but the fridges are plugged in now just about now the lights can come on ready go oh not yet okay Oh yeah, so I never used this gen. This is actually the exact same generator I ordered. It comes tomorrow, and we we're ready for the next power outage now. The generator's running right now. Um, got everybody settled. I had to go pick up the bus. I was getting some work done on it. It was dying. There was some water growing in the fuel tank. Anyways, I think it's running better now. But, guys, I implore you to get, to start thinking about emergency preparedness. Start thinking about, just do what you can do. Start slowly accruing food. Um, if you can get a generator, get a generator, whatever it takes, just slowly build it up. There's going to be a time when you're going to need it. Get your 72-hour kit, you know, the backpack, where if you have to run out of the house for whatever reason, you have no time to pack anything else. It's an emergency. Clothing, some basic supplies. Just Google it, 72-hour kit. <sighs> you got to get ready. Because when the time, when the, when the emergency happens, it's too late to prepare. All of a sudden, you can't buy things. It's too late. Stuff's happening all over the world right now. Fires, earthquakes, it's getting crazy. And I don't think it's gonna end anytime soon. Our power's out, it's random. I think somebody ran into a pole in our city. But they're little warnings. Get your stuff ready, get your house in order. That is my, that is what we're doing. And I, just do what you can do with your, within your own family, within your own means, start getting ready. And okay, 
Hopefully the power's on before morning, but uh, we'll update you tomorrow. So thanks for watching, fighting good, and everything. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.